You may be wondering what's the difference between WordPress.org and WordPress.com, and you certainly wouldn't be alone in doing so. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm just going to clear up any confusion you might have between the two websites. WordPress is web software which you can use to create beautiful websites or blogs, and it is the software which powers the website itself. WordPress, the software, is open source and freely available for anybody to use. In a nutshell, WordPress.org hosts the open source software itself, which anybody can download and use on their website. Whereas WordPress.com is a commercial website, which offers a hosted version of WordPress, which is initially free, but has various paid for add-ons. So the question when deciding whether to use WordPress.org or WordPress.com is essentially a question of whether to download and host the WordPress software yourself by using the WordPress software from WordPress.org in combination with a web host of your own, or whether to use the pre-hosted version of WordPress on WordPress.com. I'm just going to explain um, in a little bit more detail the pros and cons of each of those. So a self-hosted version of WordPress, which you can get from WordPress.org, offers you complete control over your website and it hosts your content on your terms. You are in complete control of everything on your website. And that means you can install your own themes and plugins, including any premium themes or plugins, which you might get from a premium theme and plugin maker, such as mythemeshop.com. And with those themes and plugins, you can more or less do anything you want with your website. You can make any customizations you want, including editing the code that powers the website by going into the theme editor and changing the code. And whilst you might not want to do this yourself or might not want to do this right now, in the future it offers future proofability. And if you ever want to hire someone, for example, to make more advanced changes to your website, then you've got that option available to you. However, Using the self-hosted version of WordPress requires that you have your own web hosting and also your own domain name or website address. Web hosting and website addresses are typically available from anywhere from about $5 per month, although some hosts offer introductory deals which are cheaper. You're also responsible for things such as backup and security of your own site, although some managed hosts are available which will handle this for you, but they are more expensive. So with more control adds more responsibility. With using a self-hosted version of WordPress, you can change literally anything on your site, but you do also need to make sure you keep your site well maintained. WordPress.com, however, offers free usage of a hosted version of WordPress, which is very fast and easy to set up. You'll see if you go to WordPress.com, you can just click Create Website, and then add in your site address, and click Create Site, Add in some details, click next, choose the design, and then you've got your website set up in only a couple of seconds. WordPress.com is very fast and easy to use. However, the free version only includes a website address which includes .wordpress.com in the URL. So for example, your blog might be myblog.wordpress.com. You do have the option to use your own website, for example, myblog.com, but doing so does come with a yearly fee, similar to how it would with a self-hosted version of WordPress. And indeed, there are a number of premium options, including more web space, support for audio and video, and more customization, but these are typically more expensive per year than the equivalent functionality using a self-hosted site. Some plugins are included with WordPress.com, including things such as website statistics and a comment and feedback form. And you do have the option to buy some upgrades, but you can't install your own plugins to add functionality. The only functionality offered on WordPress.com is that which is built in. And indeed, you can choose between hundreds of themes on WordPress.com, and some of these are free and some of these are paid but you can't install your own themes. So if you don't like the ones available, you're not going to be able to add your own premium or free themes. What's more, you can't edit the code either. So there's limited scope for customization in the future. With WordPress.com, you don't control the platform which powers your site, 
which means you have much less scope for customization. But if you are looking to get set up quickly at low cost, then WordPress.com may be the one for you. So that's the difference between the two. Using a self-hosted version of WordPress on WordPress.org is suitable for those needing flexibility, extra functionality through custom themes and plugins, and indeed the ability to change the code that powers the site. And also you have full control over the content. WordPress.com is best for those wanting a fast, simple site, but who don't want the scope for customization, custom themes, custom plugins, extra functionality in the future. Of course, you can find details about WordPress.org and WordPress.com at WordPress.org and WordPress.com respectively. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.